How's it going guys? My name is Maurice from Editors Depot. I want to thank you guys for clicking this video. If you found it, you're either a subscriber who just got it popped up on your feed or you're just a guy who checked out the description after we told you to check it out for the tutorial or you're just a random person who decided to watch a video today. Well, either ways, we appreciate you guys checking out this video. We're going to try to do our best job to help you guys edit your templates. We're going to try to do the general things that you can do across pretty much any template on YouTube that includes Cinema 4D and or After Effects. So that's basically what this is going to focus on. If you're going to use other software such as Sony Vegas or Blender, we have other tutorials and you can check them out in the description as well. Now as far as your template goes, you want to make sure you have the best template you can get. So Editors Depot, you know, we're the best of the best of course and so we're going to have the best stuff for you guys. So we suggest you check out the description or some of the annotations we're going to have across this video. We have some really cool templates and we suggest you check them out. Even at the end of this video, we're going to have a countdown. Not even a countdown, it's just an outro with two of our favorite intro templates and I'm going to pick those personally when I upload this video. I hope you guys check those out. Now, let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial. The first thing you want to do is open up the Cinema 4D file that's included. Now, as you can tell, very, very basic stuff. You can look through this entire thing and notice the animation. It's pretty awesome. And so what you're going to want to do is select the text layer that you get and you want to change the text to whatever you want. Now, I'm going to write Editor's Depot. Oh, I'm in a little bit of trouble there. Now that looks pretty cool if you ask me, but let's say we want to change the font. You simply select font, you're going to see that under object, assuming you're in the same Cinema 4D version as me, and you're going to click on Pepsi. Now if you're not, you can just look through it and you'll pretty much figure it out. It shouldn't be too difficult. It's not rocket science. Hope not. I don't know, maybe it is. Okay, so now we have that and it looks pretty cool. Next thing you want to do is change out the, the color. Guys, I'm pretty sure we're going a little too fast, so you know you can just make sure you pause the video. We're trying to make it quick for you guys, just to um, we don't kill, we don't want to kill your whole day. I know you have pretty awesome videos to make for the world, right? So you want to change the the color by simply selecting it here, double clicking, or double clicking over here, and that's pretty much going to bring up a box box, and um, you're going to want to change out the colors there, and you want to do it not just on one of these. Um, options here but all of them because you maybe you change it on one and it won't show because it's still the same on the others so now we have this like fire what do you call this hot pink and um, I like it a lot so actually we're gonna go ahead and stick to that next thing you want to do is just render it so you want to make sure your render settings are set like mine you want to have either 1280 by 720 or 1920 times 1080 you know the deal the next thing you want either 30 or 60 frames people you know 30 will do the job 60 is just you know overkill for most of you guys and then I always render as QuickTime movies I know most of you guys are probably gonna do um, PNG sequences I don't know why people do PNG sequences I can't tell you why because I don't do it myself but a lot of these templates are always sent to me as PNG sequences so I mean maybe you can check out why or I don't know but basically we're gonna render as QuickTime movies once you render it, I'm not going to render it because I already have it rendered. I have was prepared. And so once you do render it, all you want to do... Oh, sorry. I don't know what this is. Let's close this really quickly. I thought I was prepared. Anyways, once you open up the After Effects file, the first thing you're going to notice is that there's a couple of things missing. Usually it's just the MP4 file and the MP3 file. And what you want to do is actually... In this case, we're not missing an MP4 file, we're missing a PNG sequence like I mentioned earlier. And so what I'm going to do is, since I know that that's the intro template and I did a QuickTime movie, I'm going to double click that sequence and replace it with my Cinema 4D render. Now once I do that, you're going to notice that it pops up. The next thing you're going to want to do is have a have music playing in your Cinema 4D render, in the After Effects render. So I'm going to replace the music that's missing with the correct song that is actually included in the zip file. Some of you guys will have it, some of you won't. Now disclaimer guys, I know we made a hot pink intro template, but the reason it's not hot pink here is because the color, cor color correction sorry, messed it up. Now if I drag this, center, this layer above the color corrections, you notice that it's back to normal. Now you see, just keep that in mind whenever you're making your renders that the color corrections might mess with it a little bit, maybe a lot of it, whatever the case may be, uh, just keep that in mind. But guys, that really much concludes our tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you guys get something out of it and if you do make sure you show some love we love you guys so love us back if you could and we would appreciate that anyways my name is Maurice this has been Editors Depot check out our website for more stuff subscribe if you haven't already you guys know the deal take it easy bye